As the title says, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step makeup for beginners because I know the holiday season is upon us and with that, the function. Last year, it was a complete wash. Everything was shut down for COVID. Everyone was trying to be extra safe. Everything was on Zoom. I'm gonna tell you step-by-step -step how to get your basic glam so you can be a little IG baddie out here if you wanna be. I'm gonna take you through products that I really like. I'm gonna switch between high-end and drugstore products so whatever budget you're working with you know what products i recommend i will also say this video is probably going to be a little long okay so get your snack get your drink get your blanket cuddle up you know prop the ipad up do what you have to do it's probably going to be a little bit longer because i am going to try to make sure i explain everything thoroughly okay so we're starting off with primer the difference in your primer can prolong the wear of your makeup. That's essentially what a primer is for. So I have two here that I really like, one that's high end, one that's low end. Um, so this is the Cover FX. This is actually the Stress um, Remedy Primer. I haven't used this specific type of primer from Cover FX, but I have, these are the only two I can find right here. I have a gang of Cover FX primers because their primers are really nice. I really like them. Another primer that I also really like that is drugstore is the Maybelline Fit Me Primer. I have used this a couple of times on here, but the one I'm gonna be using today is their Stress Remedy Primer. I usually focus it on my T-zone where I get oily the most. There are a few different routes you can go with foundation and I'm gonna take you through all of them. You can go for like a full-fledged foundation or you can go for a tinted moisturizer. The difference being is generally your foundation is gonna have more coverage. So my favorite three that I have here are the NARS Natural Radiant. Um, I also have the Morphe um, Soft Focus Foundation really good the milani cream to powder foundation for the tinted moisturizers i have three options as well so my favorite one um is the maybelline fit me tinted moisturizer lip bar this is the three-in-one tinted um moisturizer i love this one i wear the shade chocolate chip and i also have a discount code if you use my code near alexis you can get money off when you purchase this this is a newer one that i just tried not too long ago this is the la girl now, this is called a tinted foundation but it's more along the lines of like a tinted moisturizer i'm going to be using the morphe filter shade that i wear in this is shade rich 30. you can blend out your makeup with a lot of different things um if you have a beauty blender and that's what you want to rock with girl do that i personally like the finish of a stippling brush you want to make sure you get all up in here like around your eyes around your nose with your foundation and stuff because you don't want to have little pockets of skin that just like are not covered with makeup i guess if you are going to like an event where lots of pictures are going to be taken i would drag it down on my neck and then I will also go the extra step, like if you're wearing like a low cut dress or top or whatever, I would swirl a little bit on your chest as well. Our next step here is gonna be concealer. And this is actually the only step where I don't have multiple options available for you because I feel like this product is so good. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I do not like the packaging. I hate the packaging, but whatever. Like the product itself is bomb. I use two shades. I use hazelnut and tan. I start off with the shade hazelnut. Let me twist them up. It is gonna go under my nose and out here. So that's where I apply my darker shade. I'm also gonna apply it on my chin and on the outskirts like of my forehead as well the lighter shade that i use is tan just put her right here in the inner parts of my eye i'm also going to put her right here also down our nose we want that to be litty and uh, you can do a little bit extra on top on your chin i do personally think that there is something to letting your makeup sit for a little bit it will just kind of adhere and like cling on and that pigment will like just kind of stay there if that makes sense i just recently switched over from using a sponge to blend out my concealer to using a brush i get a better finish when i use a smaller brush and i feel like i'm able to be more precise when i use a smaller brush but a sponge is perfectly fine so i'm just gonna blend out my chin first i'm gonna kind of keep it in the area where I applied it 
I don't, you don't want to like blow it out and start blending over here and whatnot. No, I'm going to start from the outside in when I blend out my forehead. So I'm just going to kind of go around in like a half moon shape. We still see like there's kind of like a line there. We're going to fix that. Don't you worry. I look straight on when I'm doing my makeup, but I also like to turn my face to the side because for whatever reason, when you're looking straight on, she might look done, beat, blended, whatever. When you turn to the side, you're gonna see like some harsh lines and things that you didn't intend. I wanna start under my nose. Like I said, you can definitely skip this part if you don't want it. I think it's best if you start from the outside and you just start to pull that product in. And as you can see, I'm kind of like stopping when I get to that lighter shade. We're gonna wait and do that part last. Whatever um, remaining I have on my brush before I go into this lighter shade, I just like to put that over my lids to kind of act as like a little primer. And I'm just doing like a really subtle tapping, like tap, tap, tap. I'm not really moving that color or that product that much. I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I use to kind of like fake the illusion of a contour without actually having to do the work. I get in here to like where I'm like just about done blending out my concealer. I start to just like drag it down the side of my nose like in a straight line. Now I can go in and blend in this concealer and to blend it in, I do just like really light taps, same way I did like under my eyes. I'm just gonna tap it out. You would think the next step is setting powder, but no. I like to apply my bronzer and my blush right now because i'm using cream products i do not like the way that cream products look when you put them on top of powder for bronzer i'm going to be using the say sun melt bronzer you also have a drugstore option which is the elf putty bronzer this is just as good it's only like six dollars bronzer that i'm going to be using today this is the shade deep bronze so just putting it there and I'm also gonna put it on the outer edge of my forehead. So as you can see, we're kind of overlapping where we put that like first shade of concealer, the darker shade. We're kind of overlapping on top of that, which is fine. You can do that. You need to do that so that these things blend together. When I use a cream bronzer, I typically like to use a cream blush as well. So the one I'm using today is by Milani. This is actually one of my favorites. This is a Cheeks Kiss blush and the shade is Merlot Moment. Patrick Ta actually has a really nice palette where they actually have um, a powder and a cream blush formula in here. Blush is the first product to fade. Um, so I usually, like if I'm going somewhere, I apply a little bit more blush than I think I need. And as you can see, this blush is like coming up into like where I have like put my concealer. That is fine. Now we're at the part where we can apply our setting powder. If you are not new to this channel, then you know that one of these is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love the setting powder so much. Honey, though, it works like as a banana powder, in my opinion. Drugstore option, this is the Black Radiance True Complexion setting powder, and this is in the shade Banana. My sponge is damp. I would first say, like, if you're applying your setting powder, you do not want to be using a dry sponge. I'm just gonna dip my sponge, and I'm gonna take it right under my eye, like that. I'm gonna bring it up on the sides of my nose and it's also going right on top of my blush. We are just pushing this product into our skin and blending it out. Remember how there is kind of like a harsh line between our blush and our concealer? It's now all smoothed out. Additional trick for a contoured looking nose without actually contouring it, and this is if you want to, it's not a necessity. I'm gonna go down the side of my nose with a little bit of extra setting powder. And then I'm also gonna go down the center of my nose, the same place where we applied that lighter um, concealer shade and blended it out. Some setting powder down here on my chin, bring it up around my mouth. And then I'm also gonna put 
a little bit on my forehead all right so this is usually the part where i like to do my brows so again i have two products here it's a kevin coin true feather brow duo so this also has a gel and it has a pen this is the one i'm gonna be using today but a dupe for it i think is the nyx system so this is the nyx brow glue and then this is also the nyx lift and snatch brow pencil i just like to brush them up this is the pen my favorite thing about this and the reason why i think it's beginner friendly is because this pen is not too harsh looking it's like so nice like it just never looks like it's too much and if you do feel like you hit something a bit too much just right after just hurry up and like tap your finger on it it should like help disperse the product a little bit more i'm gonna take you guys through three different palettes that i really like I this is the charlotte tilbury desert haze quad so it's only four shades in here i know that you're probably thinking especially if you're a brown girl like them shades ain't about to do nothing for us sis you're wrong makeup by mario this is like kind of middle ground i feel like she's not super expensive um for what you're getting so you get all of these shades from milani this is their unit gilded most love mattes um this is one of my favorite palettes that i've been using a lot for my fall makeup this year the one i'm going to be using today is the charlotte tilbury first go in with this brown shade and i'm just picking up a little bit of it and i'm gonna just blend this out in my outer corner and then i also just like to blend it out a little bit into my crease as well now we're gonna go in with this next darkest shade and you can pick up like as much as you want of this i'm just kind of putting that like right next to where i applied it quite the darker shade i'm gonna pick up this like lighter orangier shade like don't knock it till you try it sis like you might think like this is not gonna be doing nothing for brown skin she do a little something something and then for the last piece you are gonna want to change your brush to something that's a little bit smaller so I just have like this smaller eyeshadow brush. Now this light shade, you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? I like to use this as a matte highlight. So I'm just gonna like pack it on right here and then like pat it into like that orangey shade we just put on, boom. Your eyeshadow is done. One thing I like to do is kind of just create liner with shadow. So I have this small little eyeliner brush, this black out of this Makeup by Mario. Start to create like a little smoky liner look. And I am just dragging this super, super close to your lashes. You don't wanna make it too thick. And I'm not gonna bring it all the way into my inner corner because I kinda want that to stay like very light. And it's like impossible to mess up. Lashes are completely optional, my ladies. Do not feel pressured to wear lashes if you aren't comfortable with them. I really like the Milani, um, what is this? Their high rated anti-gravity mascara. This is actually a super bomb mascara. I am just gonna do a little bit of mascara because I do feel like that's a little bit more beginner friendly. This is a really nice volumizing and lengthening mascara. It gives my lashes a lot of lift. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a drugstore like highlighter option, but I have two here that I really like. So this one is from Pat McGrath. This is her Divine Rose highlight. And then I also have Cover FX. This is their custom enhancer palette. And this one actually has three highlights that range from like a little bit more rosy, a little bit more golden, a little bit more bronzy. So I'm actually going to go with the Pat McGrath. Pat that right up. Here. Now that we're putting on our highlight, we're at the point where we can dust this off. So just take a small brush. I always like to put a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose. Lip liner, lipstick, gloss, always. That's how I get my pout looking right. So I start off with a dark lip liner. I don't have other options for this. So the only one that I'm really liking right now is the Milani Understatement Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Rich Cocoa. Start with like just a regular line around the perimeter of my bottom lip, and then I just start to color it in a little bit on the sides. Kind of try to keep it true to my actual lip shape. 
Same thing that I did at the bottom, except for I'm gonna do this like all around the lip. I kind of just go in and color in a little bit by the edges. The shades Lace and Koi by Fashion Fair mixed together. This makes the most perfect pinky nude lip. My other favorite shade is from Buxom. This is the shade Fly Girl. This is the Milani uh, Color Fetish Lipstick. And this is the shade Secret. And I also like to mix this with the shade Passion, which I can't find right now. I'm gonna go with the Buxom Fly Girl Nude Lip. And my glosses typically is where I add in more of like the pinky color. So I do have two plumping glosses. This is the Fussy Heat Gloss from Fenty, which I really have been enjoying lately. Also, Buxom has um, really nice full-on plumping lip creams. For a drugstore option, we have Maybelline Lifter Glosses. These are really good. I'm going to go with the Fenty Fussy. This is a look that could take you to any function, any event, any family get-together. And I've given you guys plenty of options, drugstore or higher-end, whichever is more your speed and you should be good sis do not forget to subscribe thumbs up this video if you like it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time